Welcome back, OIG family, to another exciting episode in our AMA series. Today, I had the privilege of speaking with Elvin Lee, who is the CEO of Manga Token. Manga Token aims to disrupt the status quo within the blockchain industry and manga industry by facilitating payment and incentivizing interactions between content creators and consumers. Watch as we take a deep dive into Manga Token and how it will revolutionize the space. Remember, if you like the content, subscribe, hit the bell notification button, and hit the like button to stay up to date with all the latest news coming out from OIG. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the AMA. Welcome OIG family. We got Elvin from Manga Token, who's going to tell us a little more about what Manga Token is and um, wh what it's going to do to the industry. Thanks Romeo for inviting me for this uh, AMA session. And yeah. I, I'm Elvin, the CEO for Manga Token. Uh, we also run Crowfi, which is the company as well as the marketplace for uh, uh, manga NFT artworks and then other creative works as well. Uh, we'll get more into that later. Uh, we shall let's uh, start the AMA and um, yeah, happy to answer all your questions for today. Awesome. Um, I'm sure a lot of us uh, at OIG, including myself, are big fans of manga. I mean, I grew up reading them. Um, so my, my biggest question, I guess I'll start with is, why do you think uh, the manga world needs a project like yours? You know, what problems do you solve? And, and what is Manga Token exactly? Uh, let's first start by explaining what manga is. So manga basically is the Japanese terms for comics. Uh, if you're not aware, of Japanese comics, um, they, they are basically, I would say, primarily paperback comics drawn and uh, drawn on magazines and distributed uh, on a weekly basis through the various magazines in Japan. And uh, recently, they have actually gone online. Uh, and it, it's becoming more popular online because uh, people are actually. Uh, people have a strong tendency or preference to use their mobile phones to read manga these days yeah. right so, and also because of covid <laughs> everyone's stuck right no one can actually get out of their homes yeah. uh, so so online applications are, are getting more and more popular and uh, with that said uh, we actually went to do a deep dive in the manga industry to figure out like how this industry actually works and uh, actually we then realized that creators in this industry do not really make a lot of money, right? In, in fact, uh, most of them uh, make unsustainable incomes. So uh, with that being said, I was thinking, hey, uh, we should come in to disrupt the market and, and, put, and bring the money back to the creators instead of all the middlemen in between. So the middlemen for this industry are basically publishers who are either print the books or the, the magazines or the publishers that are create the mobile applications for, for the manga cards or the manga creators to uh, sell their manga uh, online. Right. Um, most of these publishers actually take a very big cut and some of them are actually I would say some a little bit ruthless in, in a sense where they lay, limit the uh, I would say the creators uh, revenue potential by tying them to a very specific platform or sometimes even uh, providing very unfavorable licensing deals with these creators so that uh, it actually limits uh, how they can go out to the rest of the world or how they can actually uh, public, uh, I would say publicize their manga. So the solution that we have over here, I would say it's a fairly simple solution. Um, provide We provide the manga car or the manga creators with a means to get an additional form of income through the distribution of NFTs, right? The NFTs can be many forms. It could be in the form of uh, artworks that they have created. It could be in the form of a simple thank you video, right? Like appreciating their fans, or it could be a simple audio note if they can't do a video. Like um, some manga cards or creators are actually pretty shy; <laughs> they they don't want to show their faces, so they'll just they'll probably produce audio notes. Or those that are even more, I would say, 
uh, introvert, they will probably just write the letter <laughs> as a form of appreciation, put it in a PDF format and, and, and uh, distribute it as an NFT. Yeah. So that there's many ways that uh, there's many forms of NFTs that actually can that can actually go out to the public. Uh, but what we act, why we want to do this is because we want to encourage the manga creators to publish manga on their own. So we will soon launch our own manga reader where uh, the creators can then collaborate with fans to translate their manga into different languages around the world as well as uh, work with the fans to uh, promote their manga to the rest of the world. So it's not the, the market for manga cars these days won't be just limited to Japan but it will then proliferate to the rest of the world. So that, that's what we are trying to do with our project. <laughs> I love I love how you mentioned um, you know eliminating the middleman and really putting that monetary power back into the creator's hands. It's just it just follows the narrative of the you know the almost the past ten years with content creation. Uh, people are making music themselves. People are making videos themselves and 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 posting it themselves and then uh, re receiving that that recognition um, based on on their content their 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 schedule it's all putting the power back into the content creator it's only a matter of time for you know manga to receive that that uh, upgrade let's say and it's really cool that you you know you recognize that yeah I, it's the truth is that these these manga uh, manga artists and manga creators that they do not get compensated for for the amazing work that they do you know I, I, it's such an influence to have manga in your life to see the different artwork the different um, um, th basically the different influences from a whole nother uh, culture you know I, I'm a fan of Japanese culture now because of what manga has done to me and uh, you know we got to keep it alive and this is this is how you keep it alive by putting that uh, that that power back into the, the creator's hands uh, so yeah, tr I truly totally agree Thank, thanks for confirming that with me. Yeah, yeah. because I, I've actually spoke, personally spoken to a couple of them. Um, some of them actually went back in, uh, went, went to go into teaching as, a, as their main career and then doing manga on the side, like drawing manga on the side, which I find that it's, uh, it's a pity because they could create much better works if they focus all their energy on, on creating the manga. Of course, of course. And uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'd love to hear it. So um, let's let's go on to a, a, another part of uh, I guess Manga Token is uh, you know obviously this is you're going to be disrupting the whole industry by doing this and uh, you're going to need a strong team to to accomplish this. So could you tell us a little bit about your team and the experience they have to to make this project a huge success? Hmm. Okay, so uh, I was uh, uh, just just for simplicity's sake, I'll highlight the three key people run, running the whole team. So mm -hmm. it's primarily me, uh, Alvin, and uh, basic and Hiroyaki, which is one of my business partners, and Yang, another business partner. Okay, so the three of us, are, I would say, um, have been working on different industries for a very long time. So personally, I've been in the software development space for almost close to 15, 17 years already. And uh, what I bring onto the table is the capability to develop software very quickly and, uh, and, and, uh, and produce, I would say, quality software so that we won't encounter with issues such as uh, hacking and stuff like that. Uh, so that's my experience. As for Hiroyaki Ikegami, which is our, who is our, is my our business partner, um, he brings in a very unique experience. So he himself is a uh, creator, yeah, right? He's a veteran in the manga and anime space for, for more than over twenty years already. So personally, he has I uh, created. Uh, I would say he has done uh, seven films right and, and wow. animation series wow. right produce them right um, and th those of most of them have actually been launched in the market you can even find his name on IMDb. <laughs> really wow <laughs> like a producer yeah <laughs> so he's 
So uh, we are lucky to actually have him because uh, he has a lot of influence in, in this industry and can actually bring in huge uh, veterans to help us, which can be seen in the works that uh, the NFT works that we have launched recently. Uh, we'll get to that in the subsequent questions. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the next thing, is, the next person is actually Yang Xin. Um, He's also my business partner. He runs a uh, game publishing company that has been around for more than about 14 years or so. Um, basically, he brings on a very unique experience in that he, he works with consumers for the past like 13, 14 years, right? Selling games, right? Improving the games uh, from time to time, um, right? To improve the one, uh, to, to uh, create better means of monetization. So he brings this economic aspect into our, our operational experience so that we can figure out from time to time how we should actually tune our platforms to make it in such a way that it's uh, a viable business for us and also a sustainable business uh, model for the creators who are on, uh, coming on board to our platform. So yes, he, he's a pretty key leader that's going to help change this industry. For sure, incredible, and um, some. I mean, some big names that, that you mentioned, if they're already on IMDb, right? So, uh, I look forward to hearing more from them and seeing how that's going to work out in in the long term. That's that's great. Um, so you you touched on the features, uh, or at least one specific one with the NFTs uh, within the mm -hmm. manga ecosystem, or manga token ecosystem rather. Um, could mm -hmm. you give us a little more in depth look at the different products and features that you will have on in your ecosystem that will benefit the manga creators as well as the the readers and users of the platform hmm, sure okay so i uh, would so let's uh, talk about the nft portion of it first mm -hmm. because uh, since I, i've been emphasizing that over and over again so what exactly is that so uh, we have actually launched our nft marketplace you can find it on this on the web uh, called trophy.xyz. So trophy is spelled as T R O P H E E, not P not P H Y. <laughs> yeah. uh, dot XYZ. So um, there you can actually find all the NFTs that we have launched with uh, through collaborating with several of the uh, several several uh, manga creators. Right. Some of them are pretty famous. One, but one is already dead, but uh, is actually fairly famous. But in any case, uh, we, we originally built our platform on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, three weeks back, we have actually built a bridge that allows users to bring these uh, NFTs from the Binance Smart Chain, bridge it over to the Ethereum chain as well. So you can actually find uh, you can actually find this feature on our marketplace. So going back to this marketplace, uh, it's unique in the sense that we only work with original manga creators or artists right to launch their pieces up on our platform. We go through the cycle of authenticating these people. So what we do is that uh, here uh, he will actually call these artists to find out if, if this person is act, uh, the actual person who created it and and then also go through with several publishers to uh, to affirm that this is the right person that we are talking to before we take our and put it up on our platform. So only the authentic manga creators can come onto our platform. So we ensure that you as the fans or the uh, eventual buyers will get the authentic pieces and not some fan art out there that is that, that, that was created and, and uh, not properly licensed. Right. And subsequently, we will also be launching our manga reader. Um, it's actually going to be out in about two weeks or so. <coughs> so what that does is that uh, creators, manga creators can launch their newly created manga on our platform and have fans who are very supportive of them, translate them into various languages, right? So they may, most of these manga artists can only, right, 
create content in Japanese. They, they can't create it in other languages. So they need the help of their fans to translate it into various languages and republish them onto the same uh, manga reader. So in such a way, right, uh, fans from all over the world can appreciate the same content faster. Right? Instead of uh, how current publishers actually work, uh, you only see the English version in, in another country like two years after the manga has been created in Japan. Right? So it's really, really slow. So we are accelerating that process. Right. And finally, uh, the last thing that we are going to create is actually this uh, manga project starter platform in which subsequently anybody who wish to create new content can come onto our project starter platform to launch their new tokens, raise some funds, uh, to, and to create their new manga or their new animation project. Wow. Yeah, these are the key things. Wow, really cool. So there, there's a lot of stuff you mentioned, um, but the, towards the end, you, you, you talked about the manga reader and and how, if I'm understanding this correctly, the users can translate the or the readers can translate the the uh, the, the content yeah. as well. Is that right? Yes. So right. so would that mean that they have a form of compensation from the the manga creator too, or how how, how does that relationship work in, in that sense? Hmm, okay, that, that, part, that part is actually pretty straightforward. So uh, why we created Manga Token in the first place is for us to compensate uh, the manga creators. Right? So based upon readership, right, you, they will get compensated a certain amount of uh, manga tokens. Uh, not only that, the fans who help to translate them uh, would also get the uh, a portion of the uh, manga, uh, the, the, the payout to manga tokens as well based on the readership wow. um, and it's not only the readership we also have built in several other business models as well such as uh, unlocking of of uh, chapters or even uh, the tip uh, or even if you like to if the manga is entirely distributed for free we we'll have also provided a tipping uh, mechanism where you can tip the the creator so that tip would also be shared with the uh, translator the fan translators. Wow, really cool. Um, I mean, since we're already on the topic too, could you go a, a little more into the de detail of the Manga Token's utility within the ecosystem? Yep, sure. So um, let's start, let, let's go uh, based on product. So that, that is easier to understand. So uh, the very first platform basically is Trophy, the Manga NFT marketplace. Uh, in there, you can actually use manga tokens to redeem NFTs. Of course, you can trade NFTs between uh, other fans, right? amongst the fans on our platform as well. Uh, you can use manga tokens. Subsequently, we'll be opening up to other tokens as well, like uh, stable coins as well as uh, uh, BNB and uh, effectively Ethereum as well. Right, and uh, that's that's the first use case for the platform for the NFT marketplace. On the manga reader, right, the manga utility is very straightforward. Uh, as a manga car, you earn uh, manga tokens through the readership, right? As fan translators, you earn um, manga tokens through trans uh, through through the readership as well or if you do help to promote the manga to other, uh, in, in other social channels, you also get some form of uh, compensation there as well, right? And uh, on top of that, the fans who do not want to contribute to create, to, to con contribute to creating the content, they can also support the content by tipping the, the manga uh, creator, right? With, with manga tokens. <clears throat> so uh, a portion of that will also be shared to the fans who help with the translation. So that's for the manga reader. And now for the actual manga token, uh, what we have also done uh, early in when we launched the uh, when we, we launched manga token was that we have created this thing called the manga token LP farm. So 
basically you can stake manga LP in pancake swap to earn manga tokens. So that, that was what we have also that was one other utility that we had. And lastly, the manga project starter. Uh, you just need to own manga tokens, stake them in a smart contract uh, to be able to participate in new token launches for, for new manga, anime, games, or even events that, that, are, all, that are related to uh, any manga title or license. So th these are the key utilities of manga token. It, it's quite a lot to take in, <laughs> but I, I hope uh, this gives you a better understanding of, of what manga tokens can actually do. So it's trying to encompass the entire ecosystem. Uh, so it's, it's not just one single use case, there's many, many use cases for it. And, and it's good to see that there's like compensation if, if you look at it at every level of interaction between the reader and the content creator. And even outside of the platform, you talked about, you know, like, uh, pushing this content on other platforms actually yields some sort of benefit on your platform as well. So mm -hmm. really, it is a robust token, a very uh, uh, a large number of use cases. And um, I, I mean, it's just, it, 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 like you said, it's, this is definitely going to disrupt the, the status quo. So it needs to be robust, right? Um, <laughs> so very cool stuff, very cool stuff. Um, Thank you. So could you could you tell us a little more about um, the Fadeaway Bunny Collection? What what is that? What is that? And what are they? How does it work within the ecosystem? Hmm. Okay. So um, in, in line with our motto of working with uh, manga creators very closely, uh, we started working with this artist. She, her name is uh, Shi, uh, Shiori Kawana. So she's, uh, she was a model who turned into a manga artist a couple of years back, right? The Fade Away Bunny main collection is actually a profile picture project. So in short, all you guys know it as a generated PFP project. <laughs> right. So uh, it's based off a, it's based off the, fade, the actual Fade Away Bunny manga that was published on the Line Manga app in Japan. Uh, recently, it was also published in the English language it, it, on Kindle, Comicsology, like Manga Planet, and even Ink. Right? But not, not all of them have been translated yet. It takes time to translate. So in, in Japanese, the, the Japanese version is already up to episode 200. Yet, but the, uh, in, the English edition is less than 50, if I'm not wrong. Yep. So back, back to the Fade Away Bunny, uh, collection. Uh, it's uh, that we we have actually so we, we are actually selling a total of uh, three hundred Genesis bunnies. That uh, it's all that's only three hundred. There won't be more than that. So, uh, these three hundred bunnies basically will allow you to breed new bunnies. Right, you can put two bunnies together to breed one new bunny. Right, and each of uh, the the bunny. The new the bread bunny would take its trait from both parents. Mm -hmm. Right, the key objective of this entire project is that we, we are trying to turn it into some form of a game five project, where uh, by uh, staking these bunnies, you can earn this to uh, ERC twenty token called pills, and you can use pills to breed new bunnies, right? Or buy gacha items to improve the looks of your bunnies or even buy uh, boosters from the item shop to uh, accelerate the, uh, the breeding of the bunny or to accelerate the uh, generation of new pill tokens. So it's uh, somewhat like a game, not entirely a game. <laughs> it's a, it's a, uh, I would say like a, a mix between a game and, and a uh, NFT PFP project both of them put together to, to create something in, uh, more interesting for users to interact with. So it's not just a PFP project where you can uh, copy the picture, put it on your Twitter profile, and that's it. Right? You can do a lot more than that. Yeah, no, it sounds like there's a lot of utility, especially with the breeding aspect. Um, and you take the uh, basically the, the uh, aspects from your, the parents and then form this new 
uh, NFT, right? Um, yep. Really cool stuff. So uh, let's move on to our next segment here, which are the Twitter questions. And mm -hmm. we'll start with Twitter question, sorry, Twitter question number one, which comes right. from Lin An. And Lin mm -hmm. asks, Manga Token has many partners. One of them is Super Genius Games, which is a game publishing company that focuses on MMO online games. Given the yep. fact that you and this company work together, does this mean we will see NFT games being developed for Manga Tokens in the future? Hmm. Yeah, so uh, this, this is a very straightforward and easy question to answer. So Super Genius Games is owned by Yang Xin, who is my business partner. Right. So we are, we are working very closely together. The original intent was actually to find manga license or manga IPs that we can use to create new games in the future. Right. So yes, you might see new games soon. Uh, not so soon, we are still sourcing for good games out there. Uh, unfortunately, most of the games that you see online these days are primarily built in China. And there's a lot of restrictions by the Chinese government yeah. <laughs> on, on building blockchain related games. So we are, we are still looking for a good game developer in China to work with to, to create new games. Right. Uh, those that we have been working in with in for, for the past 10, 15 years, uh, those guys are actually not very willing to take a step forward. <laughs> to, to uh, enter the crypto world but because of the Chinese restrictions. So, so we are looking, we are still looking for a, a good developer out there to work with to create new games. But yes, we, we will soon be creating games. Epic. That's a really, uh, really, really exciting answer to hear, you know, um, especially with everything we've heard so far to hear that, you know, you, you're actively looking and actively trying to, to enter that market as well. Uh, mm -hmm. so it's, it's very exciting. Let's go on to question number two, which mm -hmm. comes from uh, Nuyent1. And they ask, what I found most helpful in the platform is that users pay zero fees for listing their NFTs. But then what is the source of revenue for the platform? How will the team generate revenue? What are the other revenue models for Manga Token? Hmm. Yep. Uh, I think, okay, so for, for this, uh, a short answer is that at the beginning phases, uh, in the beginning phase, we are we are doing acquisition, so that's the key reason why listing is free. But does that does not mean that subsequently listing will be, uh, listing will require you to pay fees. Right? Uh, what actually happens is that we have devised this model where we are primarily looking at resale as the means of uh, earning uh, long term income for the for the uh, NFTs, right? So a small percentage will be added on top of the sale, right? About 2.5% to 5% depending on the type of NFT or depending on uh, who the creator is. <clears throat> so we'll be earning, uh, I would say our rev key revenue from there. Um, not only that, we are also, as you heard in the uh, earlier, uh, conversations we had um, basically we are also launching our manga reader and that's where we will also be taking some form of commissions out of each transactions to cover our costs so that's how uh, we are building revenue for our platform impressive that's good to hear um, so let's move on to our final question twitter question which comes from don8888 Mm -hmm. And they ask, looking at the vast category of art, is manga token limited to only the manga category of arts? Also, what are the steps and qualifications to be an authorized or approved mangaka? Can manga arts from a different marketplace be sold on your marketplace? Hmm. Yeah. So uh, many people actually ask a similar question, and I guess no, that's because they are also perhaps drawing manga on their own, yeah. <laughs> but they are not in, in, in Japan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay, so I would say uh, at, as of now, now we are only primarily focusing on manga, right? 
So it will not just be manga art. It can be anything related to manga. So it could be like posters, could be, I said earlier, a letter of appreciation, voice notes, or even videos, right? It's not just art. Um, it really ultimately depends on the creator, like what they are comfortable with selling. Uh, as of now, uh, some education needs to be done because uh, most most of the artists that we have been talking to, their perception of NFT is actually just art. <laughs> but yeah, we, we, we need to educate them in what are the things that they can actually push out or roll out. Uh, we are talking to some people who have done live 2D uh, avatars. So potentially that could be another means of, another form of digital, uh, uh, another form of NFT that, that we'll be uh, selling on our platform. Right. As of qualifications wise, uh, uh, I would say right now we have actually streamlined the process where uh, Hiroyaki's team based in Japan it is doing all the, the uh, background check, meaning to say they call up publishers, they call up other industry partners to check whether is this person the right person. Right. So as of now, it's, it's pretty manual, but subsequently we hope that the uh, industry people or the fans can actually participate to do validation, meaning to say, check up on, online on the internet to figure out if this person is the, the, the right or the correct person to write or the original artist to create for. Uh, of course, it's harder for the fans to do so. Right, it's easier for people in the industry to, to call up a couple of friends to find out. Right. Uh, but we, we hope that it can be subsequently decentralized so that we can scale up our platform much faster. Right, scale up the content much faster. So that, that's what we hope to do uh, in the coming, uh, in the next few months. Really cool right. stuff. Yeah, if it becomes decentralized and, and autonomous, that's... Uh... That's gonna be its its own its own life form, right? Just to have it authenticate on its own. Correct, correct. And so, uh, with that being said, of uh, in terms of manga art that are out there in different marketplaces, will we actually bring them into Trophy? In the short term, uh, no, because uh, we have no way to verify those artists at the moment. But subsequently, once we have a methodology to verify those artists that are trying to sell their manga related art on the other marketplaces. Uh, once we have, we, we know how to verify them, we can bring them onto our marketplace. Wow, really cool stuff. Really cool stuff, exciting to hear and uh, can't wait to see it, that's, that's for sure. Um, so that wraps up our Twitter questions and let's mm -hmm. move on to our final uh, question, which is basically, you know, your project has achieved many th things since its conception. Can you outline some highlights of, uh, mm -hmm. and of your accomplishments, as well as talk about what's uh, on the roadmap ahead? What's exciting to you in the next year or so? Hmm. Okay, so uh, let's start from the beginning. So we launched Manga Tokens in uh, August last year. Uh, Thereafter, we actually then launched the uh, Binance Smart Chain version or BSC version of our marketplace uh, early Q4 last year. Then, uh, since then, we actually rolled out about slightly more than slightly more than about 50 uh, NFTs with about 25 selected artists on our marketplace. And uh, during that period, Q4 last year, we have also launched the uh, Manga LP farm. And fast forwarding to about three weeks back, we launched the Ethereum version of uh, the Trophy Marketplace and, and the, as well as the Bridge. And so now, uh, it brings us back to the present day, right? Now, what are we actually working on is that we are working on the next component, which is the manga reader. The technical aspect of it is already completed. Um, now we are working on the content aspect, 
where we already have a couple of Japanese manga that we have to figure out how to get them translated and then put them up onto our manga reader so that we can actually relaunch it. So we have collected about uh, 20 or so exclusive manga, right? Um, I hope we can, com com we, can com uh, we can translate all of them in time. If not, we probably launch with slightly less servers <laughs> and, and then uh, launch the rest of the rest uh, in the next in the next couple of weeks. Uh, with that said, uh, once we have successfully launched our manga reader and demonstrated that we have the capability to launch new manga, launch new NFTs on behalf of those manga artists or creators, we can then safely create. Or I would say we can then safely uh, launch our manga project starter platform in which games, new manga, new anime projects can then come in to say, hey, I want to create a new governance token and I want to raise some funds to, to uh, create my new project. Can I do so? So they, they, and then we can just work with them. And uh, basically these projects can then launch their new coins under our uh, project starter or our launch pad and uh, therefore create new content that they can then put up on our platform also. So that would occur sometime in the, I would say towards the middle of the year, right? And, uh, and uh, basically once that is rolled out, I think towards the end of, uh, towards the second half of the year, that's where we can put more, more of our focus on uh, improving the monetization of the platform and finding uh, and working closely with uh, IP owners to subsequently build games or even anime projects. So actually our, our, my business partner is actually raring to create new anime already. <laughs> and uh, they're, they're already looking for new IP to create new, new anime. But I, I'm still telling them, hold on for a second. <laughs> we haven't advanced that. <laughs> We haven't got to that stage yet. <laughs> uh, yes, if you want, you can still create anime yeah, on, on your own. But uh, once we, we need to garner enough traction, enough, uh, enough, uh, I would say, users to understand what we are doing before we, we can launch like new anime projects. So yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen in the next couple of months. No, and it's truly a, a, a revolutionary project. I mean, Manga Token, we've talked about so many different aspects today. The, the NFT marketplace, the bridge, the authentication, uh, you know, the Manga Reader, which is coming out, you said, in two weeks, right? I mean, the, the fact that it, it's all uh, usable now and it's all, it's all being implemented now means that you're way ahead of the game and you're going to be disrupting the status quo. And... I can't wait to see you know more of, of Manga Token and what they have to offer and how they're gonna re truly re revolutionize the the manga industry as well as the blockchain industry, and and uh, you know connecting the two to the two markets. Um, so where before we uh, uh, finish off here, where can people find out more about Manga Token? Um, where can they see more of Manga Token's future? So uh, if you want to find out more about Manga Tokens, you can go to mangatoken.org uh, to look up more information on Manga Token. But if you are uh, not so interested in reading like the white paper, no problem. <laughs> you can just dive straight in, come to trophy.xyz, start as T-R-O-P-H-E-T.xyz. Come in, find, look, have a look at our, have a look at our uh, NFTs, Look at what you are interested in. If you are interested in buying manga tokens, there's an avenue for you to to uh, buy manga tokens in, in Trophy. If not, if you would like to participate in the farm, in Trophy, there's a feature for you to jump straight into the farm as well. Uh, in two weeks' time, on Trophy itself, you can then click on one of the links to jump straight to the manga reader. So the entire utility is all packed into Trophy. Yeah, just head right over to Trophy to just use it and then figure out, <laughs> like, forget about the white paper. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, no, it's true, right? Like, uh, just go enjoy it for what it is. And uh, I, 
for everybody, for all our viewers today, our links will be in the description so you can find out uh, more where you can find more about Manga Token. And uh, Alvin, it was a pleasure talking to you about Manga Token. We wish you all the best and we hope to see you again here and discuss how it's going and uh, can't wait to see more from Manga Token. Thank you very much, Romeo. I really appreciate you spending the time talking to us to find out more about the project and to explain to your audience. Uh, I hope we can have another EMA session uh, sometime soon again and to, to talk about our new progress in the next one. For sure. Thank Can't you wait. Very much. Well, OIG family, that wraps up another episode in our AMA series. Be sure to follow us on all our social platforms. All the links will be in the description below. Until next time, we'll see you soon.